I am Mar Palai, director of the European Forest Institute and leading the Circular Bioeconomy Alliance, established by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. The Circular Bioeconomy Alliance was established to accelerate the transition towards a circular bioeconomy, a new economy that is powered by nature but prospers in harmony with nature. The collaboration with Lombardo Dia has been very inspiring because if we want to, to catalyze a paradigmatic shift in our economy, it is crucial to deploy capital in order to transform many of the existing economic value chains. Nowadays, we are facing two major crises, the biodiversity crisis, the climate crisis, and we could even add a poverty crisis in many parts of the world. And, and these are not different crises, they are just different consequences of the same fundamental problem which is our existing economic system, which is addicted to fossil resources, to growth at all costs, and also a system that fails to value our most important capital, which is nature. The circular bioeconomy is a great opportunity to holistically rethink our land, food, and even our health systems, and trigger the transformational change that many other sectors uh, will need in order to become carbon neutral and circular in the next decade. And of course, forests need to be at the center of this new economic revolution because basically they are the most important biological infrastructure in the planet. They are not only the largest terrestrial carbon sink that we have, but they are also the main terrestrial source for water. Using efficiently wood resources, we can produce a new range of innovative bio-based solutions that can disrupt many value chains in different important sectors. At the same time, there is about 1 billion hectares globally that could be restored in the next decade. And if we are showing that investing in wood is economically profitable for local communities, for banks and investors, we would be in a position to attract the necessary investments to catalyze such land restoration. So it is crucial to create a meeting point between scientific knowledge innovation and ancestral knowledge in order to create the enabling environment to unlock the potential of a circular bioeconomy that places at the center indigenous and local communities. Forests are a fantastic natural technology. They are absorbing CO2, transform that into biomass and at the same time release oxygen and water in the process. But when the environmental conditions are not the adequate, there are droughts, uh, pests and disease, or forest fires, forests, instead of absorbing CO2, start emitting. All the carbon that has been absorbed in the foreign biomass is released to the atmosphere. It is important to see our forest not as a tool to compensate for a broken economic system, but rather as a tool to transform our economic system.